Hi, I'm Amy Hawkins. And I'm David Baxter. Welcome to Cabarrus This Week. This week we are at the Cabarrus County Emergency Operations Center, newly minted here. David's going to give you some information on that in a moment. But uh, we've got some great information on the show, so you might want to get a pen and piece of paper to jot some things down. But if you miss anything, we will have some contact information at the end of the show. Now, Cabarrus County has a brand new emergency operations center. This is located in the new sheriff's uh, and administrative building. Now, the state-of-the-art facility has unique features from pretty much any emergency operations centers located in any of the other counties in North Carolina. Everything is set to go in a moment's notice if a disaster occurs, whether it's a flooding event, tornado, ice storm, hazardous material, or any other type of widespread disaster. Now, each representative county department and other government agencies in other cities have a seat here and they'll share resources to ensure a coordinated response to any disaster. Now the large screens help keep everybody up to date and plugged in with news reports, incoming stats, and other agencies. Now the county trains for disasters throughout the year and follows and meets federal standards for disaster response. The Emergency Operations Center was used for the first time this last week when Cabarrus County participated in a regional disaster drill and as a response to a you know pretend nuclear disaster at McGuire wires uh, power plant and it was really I mean it's, it's pretty amazing I mean everybody was in here it was it was uh, from you know early in the morning until mid-afternoon and running through all kinds of different scenarios and uh, the FEMA guys you know from Washington they're always trying to throw a little curve in every now and then and afterwards they said that our team did a great job so the emergency management here they did a wonderful job they took those curves and dealt with them and worked with it and they were the FEMA guys were ecstatic about what's going on and how it happened here. Great. Well, this is a real, it's a wonderful asset for Cabarrus County. Oh. We are very proud. So of you can feel there. safe and everything's going to happen. If anything happens, we got it covered. <laughs> Well, the Cabarrus County Fair is coming up very quickly. It is right around the corner. And if you have not gotten your discount tickets, you definitely need to do that because once the fair starts, you will not be able to get the discount tickets. The Cabarrus County Fair will be in town September 11th for an eight-day run. You can save up to $7 per person by purchasing advanced tickets now at Concord Mills. Just stop by the guest services booth um, there at, uh, what's it called, Bass Pro Shops mm -hmm. at uh, Concord Mills, and uh, you can get discounts on both the gate admissions plus the um, ride wristband vouchers. It's going to save you a lot of money. The um, advanced ride wristband vouchers are $15 um, in advance. You would pay $20 at the gate. Now these allow you to ride all unlimited rides. You don't have to buy the individual tickets. Ride unlimited rides with the wristband, so it's a big savings. The advanced adult tickets for ages 12 to 64 are $5 at uh, or $5 in advance, which is a $7 savings, or I'm sorry, it's a $7 at the gate. So total savings, if you get both of those, um, is $7 for um, those 12 to 64 years old. You also can purchase advanced uh, discount tickets at the Cabarrus and Arena box office, Mondays through Fridays from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Or through August 31st, you can also order them online at CabarrusCountyFair.com. Now there are some really cool things going on at the fair this year. It's going to be a wonderful fair. Um, Jake Owen, who is one of the hot new up-and-coming country stars, is going to be there. And he's actually going to have a concert in the arena. Yeah. So that's going to be a new feature. I'm really looking forward to that. So lots, of, you, lots uh, of fun things. The beach music, the embers are going to be there. So you know, I love beach music. Yeah, so. we, entertainment every night. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be great. Now, the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to present Alan Wolf on Saturday, August the 29th, and that's at 7 p.m. And that's part of the Story Under the Stars, which is a great program out there at Kannapolis Library. Now, the Alan Wolf is a fascinated family poetry presenter. He puts the ooh into poetry. Mm. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out what that is. You have to go find out. You have to go look at it. That's it. Now, he has hundreds of poems committed to memory and is always ready to share a line or two. Mm -hmm. Now, bring a blanket, a beverage, and we'll provide the popcorn. Come join us for this evening of entertainment on the library patio. An event of inclement weather, this event will be moved inside. For more information, just contact 704-920-1180 uh, or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library and find out what the O is. There you go. <laughs>
Well, the 16th annual Frank Lisk Park Pow Wow is coming this weekend. This is a really neat event. I went to a Pow Wow as, as a child um, with my Girl Scout troop, and it was just really very interesting. But every year they come out to Frank Lisk Park. This is the traditional Southern Protocol Pow Wow. It's going to be held August 28th and 29th. You can come out and enjoy um, this Native American experience as tribes gather together to celebrate and share their culture. And they're doing it as, as um, their powwow association, but the public is invited to, to come and participate. This event will feature a gathering of American Indian tribes from across the nation dressed in tribal regalia, traditional Indian music, and dancing. Educational displays will exhibit artifacts used and items traded. There will be Native American foods as well as other festival foods available for purchase. The event begins Friday, August 28th with intertribal dancing from 7 until 10 p.m. Then the festivities will continue on Saturday, August 29th, beginning at 10 a.m. with hands-on learning and craft vendors, followed by gourd dancing at 1 p.m. and intertribal dancing at 3 p.m. And then the festival will end with the grand entry intertribal dancing from 7.30 until 10 p.m. Uh, so really unique event out there. For more information, you can contact the Pow Wow Chairman at 704-786-5705 or email at ghoyt at carolina.rr.com. That sounds like a great event. I mean, it'd yeah. be really interesting and educational, too. That'd be great. Now, another round of tennis lessons are going to be held at the Frank List Park. That's beginning September the 5th. Classes will be available at uh, beginner and intermediate levels for both children and adults. Participants, uh, you got to provide your own tennis racket. Now, the cost for a four-week session is only $35. To register online, just log on to cabarriscounty.us slash reserve partner. Just type the word tennis in the class search box. Or for more information, just call Frank List Park at 704-920-2700. Okay. And just get ready to play a little tennis. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Well, if you have any gently used books that either you or your children no longer use, um, please consider maybe cleaning off some of your bookshelves or um, cleaning out some of your closets with all, all the older books and donate your gently used books to the Kannapolis branch at the Cabarrus County Public Library for its used book sale, which is coming up in September. Proceeds from the used book sale will support the purchase of materials for the library and its special programs throughout the year. Donations can be brought to the Cabarrus County Public Library in Kannapolis, and a tax receipt will be given for any donation. For more information about donating your gently used books, just call the library at 704-920-1180. And I'll tell you, all, there's wonderful programs going on at the library all year long, not only um, in Kannapolis, but all four branches of our Cabarrus County Public Library system. Um, wonderful free events to participate in. And of course, um, we have these fundraising efforts to help be able to provide more right. and, and to continue some of those. So it's, it's a great opportunity to kind of give back if you've participated in any of the programs. Yeah, well, take advantage of it, really. Yes. Now, uh, if you're a Jim Carrey fan, we've got a plan for you here. Now, the uh, Cabarrus County Senior Center is going to have a Jim Carrey Film Festival. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that sounds like fun. Now, that's going to be on Friday, August the 28th, and uh, for a day of free movies with Jim Carrey. Now, the day begins at 10 a.m. in the showing of Bruce Almighty, followed by Liar Liar, which is a funny movie, at 1 p.m., and then Fun with Dick and Jane, and that's going to follow at, at 3 p.m. Now, uh, you know, you can have that all that fun and free popcorn and drinks will be provided. Oh, right. wow. Hey, that's even better. For more details, just call the Senior Center at 704-920-3484 or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging and you can go smoking. Of course, that's in a different movie, but that's okay. <laughs> Jim Carrey is quite the character. Yes, he so. is, isn't he? <laughs> Lots of fun. Well, the last movie in the City of Concord's Stars in the Park series will be aired Friday, August 28th at the ball field at Les Myers Park. The Disney Pixar hit movie WALL-E will be shown on the outdoor big screen. Big screen. So bring your blankets and chairs and your family and friends for this unique movie experience. Uh, and I love the movie WALL-E. Uh, 
cute little um, robot who's trying to save the world. So it's, it's a great story. <laughs> um, games and activities and inflatable amusements will begin on the ball field Friday at 7.30 p.m. And the movie will begin at dusk. The movie is free and open to the public. Food and concessions will be available for purchase. Les Myers Park is located at 338 Lawndale Avenue, just south of downtown Concord. For more information, you can call Concord Parks and Recreation at 704-920-5600 or log on to ci.concord.nc.us. Now, the Greater Charlotte Antique and Collectibles Show is going to return to the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center this weekend. So come on out to unique items from American, English, French, and Asian antique furniture, decorative accessories, ceramics, lighting, pottery, glass, silver, <laughs> rugs, linens, fine art, <laughs> sculptures, quilts, books, jewelry, clocks, glass, textiles, and much more. <sighs> Is there anything else? I don't know. I Lot, think I covered of, it all. <laughs> lots of square footage out there with lots that's, of great things. Lots of things. Now, the Antique and Collectible Show will be at the Cabarrus Arena Event Center on this on Friday, August the 28th, and Saturday, August the 29th. And those hours are 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. each day. And then on Sunday, August the 30th, from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Admission is $5 for adults, $4 for senior citizens, and free for children younger than 16. Now, parking is free. For details, just log on to CabarrasArena.com. Great. Well, if they don't have it, it doesn't exist, that's, I think. That's pretty much it. We can start get, get a jump on some holiday shopping. <laughs> Absolutely. There. So, well, we have had a ton of information on the show today. Um, as always, if you miss anything, you can always get to our website at CabarrasCounty.us. Click the A to Z index there. You'll find um, a lot of topics that we talk about. Um, but if you need any more details, you can always shoot us an email at channel22 at CabarrasCounty.us. And please do remember, if you haven't signed up for our email newsletter, um, please go on our website, CabarrasCounty.us click the join our mailing list link top left of any page on the website and if you are getting the newsletter and enjoy it please consider passing it on to a friend and asking them to sign up as well so we can all share the wonderful information available right now and if your friends and family don't have time warner cable you want to watch uh, cabarrus this week and all the other programs that we do on channel 22 well you can just go to our website cabarruscounty.us click on the channel 22 icon and that'll take you to programs and then from programs you can see all the different pieces that we shoot and mm -hmm. edit and produce. Cabarrus This Week, Eating Smart, we've got a brand new historical moments on. So on uh, part two on the markers, it's really interesting when you're driving down the road and you see these markers, we tell you a little bit of the story, you know, Judge Horton kind of mm -hmm. tells all about it and it's a really, really nice piece. So if you, you get a chance, you got to check that out. And also, if uh, you haven't, uh, you know, talked with Chantel Thompson about our neighborhood program partners, then do that. That's a great opportunity. You can check in with her and uh, find out all about that and, uh, you know, put together your neighborhoods and have a good thing, good, great good information. And uh, again, we're really fortunate here in Cabarrus County to have such a great emergency operations center. And the team here is a terrific group. And I mean, you know, the, everybody just works together. So in case there is a situation, you know, you're in good hands. So these guys do a great job. So until next time, you have a great week.